morning, automotive enthusiasts, or just awesome enthusiasts, I could say. Today, it's vlog 511. Uh, today is actually gonna be split into two separate vlogs, 511 and 512, because there's just way too much coolness going on. It is 7.14 in the morning. I'm headed south on PCH out of Malibu into Hollywood. I'm going to the Peterson Automotive Museum, which is their cars and coffee this morning. But also, I've been invited to what they call uh, the new Peak Talks, which is a uh, kind of like TED Talks. And they have someone launching that event who's going to be giving a talk about drunk driving and the responsibilities of drinking and driving and all that stuff. And that's pretty much going to be today's vlog. But right after that, at about noon, I'm headed down to the Automobile Driving Museum. I'm going to be grabbing a cool car and we're going to be driving that to the Farrah Fawcett Cancer Foundation event. amazing cars here at the Peterson. It's interesting you come to these shows and you see cars that you have never seen before because people don't drive the distance to come out to Malibu. Ilan Coupe, very cool. Cool bus. They're just awesome stuff everywhere. inside the Peterson right now. Lots of silver cars. This is where the presentation is going to be in just a little bit. There's nobody there right now, but it's going to start in about half an hour. Until then, just look at some cool cars.
for me in particular. Uh, I got here four years ago at the museum. I'm the executive director of the museum. And as you may have witnessed over the past couple of years, we've done an amazing job in transforming the museum inside and out. But one of the first things that I thought we wanted to do when I got here four years ago was do something about uh, teen driving, teen safety. And um, I think that there's something that I share with Doug and, and especially about safety and, and as it relates to this and why it makes it it's such an important thing for me is that I lost a daughter in a car crash. Um, you can hear about um, Doug's history, but Doug is a special guy. Um, I don't know how many people have ever gone 300 miles an hour in a quarter of a mile, but he did it. He was the second man to ever do it. Um, that's, a, that's a brave guy or a real lunatic. I don't know, either, either one. But, uh, Thanks, Kenny, for that. That was a pretty nice introduction. Uh, you know, and thank you, thank all you guys for taking some time to come out here. I was out there looking at the cars earlier, and like, I've been to the Peterson Museum several times before they did this renovation, and then afterwards, and this is a special place. So, uh, being a car guy, like probably many of you are, uh, the excitement of coming here and seeing all these special vehicles is really cool. Uh, I'm really proud to be here talking to you guys about something that means a lot to me. I'm honored to be here and be introduced by Terry for uh, for this first beat talk. This is, this is pretty cool. The last time Doug Herbert was in the Bristol Motor Speedway, he was on the track in a hot rod that could scream past 300 miles an hour. Doug Herbert! The professional drag racer has won six times here. This, to me, is a lot of therapy. But on this day, he's after a different type of win just off track. As team drivers navigate a hazard-filled course. We're sick of teaching how to do better drivers and maybe the consequences of making poor decisions. Doug Herbert knows those decisions can end in tragedy because he's also a dad. And this horrific scene is where his sons were killed in a 2008 head-on collision. James was 12, John was 17, and police say driving recklessly. They were patient about the emotion that I have behind what we're doing, but what I didn't realize is what a big effect that has on so many other people because it wasn't just me, it was all of my kids' friends, all of my friends, the principals, the teachers, uh, the first responders that went. You know, how heartbreaking would that be to go be a, uh, you know, a firefighter and have to go up and take care of these kids? So that's a that's a big issue uh, and it's just staggering the consequences that come from something like that. You know, one thing that I didn't know is car crash is the number one thing that kills teenagers. Like, more than the next four things put together. That, I had no idea that that was the case. But nearly about 5,000 teenagers every year die in car crashes, which to me is just unacceptable. And to make matters worse, there's about half a million teenagers every year that go to emergency rooms with life threatening injuries. That, I mean, that's really a big deal because as a parent, Boy, that's that's my parents involved with uh, trauma, right? Going to the hospital and seeing your kids in bad, you know, bad shape. And in case you think it can't happen to you, you really have to think about that because you know we've got good kids, right? They get good grades, they live, they got all of a sudden they're in the car. Are they really ready? Um, are they really ready to do that? Are they going to be responsible for being able to deal with that? Well, I don't know, but uh, everybody's going to be affected by that. save my life. And that really, that was really rewarding for me, thinking, okay, well, I think we'll make a difference, and internally, my boys will make a difference, because they're the, the reason for doing this. She said, we can make a difference, I'm just sure. So, that's pretty much about all I have. I want to really thank the Peterson Museum, and particularly Terry Gardner, for inviting me out here to speak. Uh, hopefully, something that I've talked to you today about will, uh, you know, kind of change your views. I know we've got one guy here, he's coming out to our promoter class this afternoon, so that's, that was like made my day there. That's pretty exciting. Uh, but thank you for coming out here, thank you for listening to me, and thanks for supporting the Peterson Museum. We love cars, and this is a great place. Really cool event. Uh, great talk by Doug Herbert. I can only imagine the 
the challenge and difficulty in losing a child or losing a loved one in a drunk driver situation or a car accident or any of those kinds of things. I certainly have had my fair share of those experiences as horrible as they are. You know, we, we pull every bit of energy that we can to take that pain, take that experience and turn it into something positive. And Doug has certainly done that, an amazing job. I commend him for not only uh, turning himself around, but putting that situation in the guise of something truly tremendous and powerful that will affect ultimately millions of people's lives. And I, for one, am going to support that. We're going to uh, we're going to hook up later on, kind of connect and figure out a way that we can get down there and we can show you guys a firsthand experience right here on the vlog. Consider myself a very good driver, but there's always stuff to learn. There's always more stuff to learn. I'm going to take Kathy with me. We're going to go down. We're going to drive. We're going to you know we're going to do the best we can, and we're going to be taught by an expert drag racer. And speaking of those challenging times, you know, our mind is going like a drag race. It's just constantly moving, constantly on the go. I have uh, quite a few people that, uh, friends of mine and people that I've spoken with, where they feel that they can't turn their mind off. And you got to learn to do that. It's like going to the gym. You got to learn how to work out. You got to learn how to do these things to kind of get better at it. But you got to find peaceful places in your life where you can think. And I'm not talking about thinking while you're at the gym working out or thinking while you're uh, swimming or doing a variety of activities. I'm talking about sitting and thinking and just getting your mind calm like a calm lake. You got to find those times. Those times are important, you know, to be able to concentrate and let the flood of ideas come to you so you can recharge, feel good, get back into life and, and make an impact uh, in the same way that Doug has. So big thanks to Con Media and, uh, and the Peterson Museum for not only bringing him in, but inviting me down to be able to see this event. Truly spectacular. The Cars and Coffee was pretty cool too. Cars, awesome. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we got some really interesting things going on. It's going to be very cool. We're heading down to the ADM again. We're going to be grabbing a car. We're going to be going out to uh, uh, an event tomorrow at the Santa Monica Museum of Flying. It's going to be very cool. So stick with us. Enjoy uh, having you guys here on the vlog. Be sure to friend us up on Instagram. Lots of great stuff that's going on there that's not going on here. Got a really big sandbox. We will see you tomorrow. Huh. <sighs>